Hello and welcome to Phone Home, the show where normally I don't know what I'm doing, but today I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm talking about the Blackberry Classic. Now, this is the last actual Blackberry by some metrics because it has a physical keyboard, it was made by the company Research in Motion, which is the actual Blackberry company, it wasn't just like a license deal. Although I have a soft spot for the quirky design of the Priv, which was basically an Android phone where you would just push the top up and you'd have the keyboard underneath. But yeah, this is a classic BlackBerry. It's running BlackBerry OS, so you've got your BlackBerry apps. You've got the Amazon App Store. You can run Android apps on here too. The gang's all here. Um, you've got all the BlackBerry stuff that doesn't really exist anymore. BlackBerry Hub, BlackBerry Messenger, most of that stuff has gone offline because you need servers and that sort of thing to really make any of that work. But you can still do some stuff. You can do emails. Apparently it's technically possible to get this running t these days. I have not really tried very hard at that and I have not had much success with it either. A um, couple interesting things about the design though. So up top We've got a centered power button, so that's kind of interesting, having the having the power button centered like this is not something you really see in a lot of designs as far as I am aware of, and I have fairly limited experience with Blackberries, so I don't really know if that's like kind of a thing they normally do. Headphone jack up top, nice to see, you'd love to see it. We've got a camera on the back, it's a Blackberry camera, like it's Fine for scanning documents, I guess, which is mainly what you would use that for. Um, and there's like a flash, so if it's really dark and you want to blind somebody, knock yourself out. Or, I mean, you know, knock their vision out temporarily. Um, I don't know if it's that powerful. On the front face here, of course, that awesome keyboard. It is fun to type on. I will definitely admit that. And you've got backlighting, which is pretty neat. The textured keys. You've got the alt button here and your shift down there as well as on the other side. And then you've got sort of the nav bar. So you've got your sort of call buttons here and here. You've got the go back button, that one's pretty important. And of course here you have a touch screen. Yeah, that's right. This is a this is a Blackberry with a touch screen on it. And this is kind of a fun thing though. You get like sort of a fun little UI. You have an app open and you can just sort of drag from the bottom and you go back to your little task manager here. And as you can see, the apps just sort of stack up so you can have multiple ones. And then you also have the optical uh, reader in the middle here. So you can sort of use that as a joystick. You can scroll through all your pages of apps like this. And this works pretty well with most of the native apps, which is what I have because the App Store on here is the Amazon App Store. I don't really have like an Amazon account, so I can't really use that. But you know, you've got a web browser, so that's very neat. On the, what side is this? So facing it on the right hand side, we've got the volume up and volume down buttons. And you know how much I love extra buttons on phones, right? Here in the middle, we've got a media control button. So if you're in the middle playing a song and you don't really want to like open the whole thing up and look for the pause button, you just push that. Just push that middle button there and it pauses the music or you know you can go back and play the music if you want. So that's really fun. I really like that feature. I think it's pretty pretty cool and I do have music on this thing. Uh, I loaded up with some tracks. And, uh, speakers decently loud. They're mounted on the bottom here. Micro USB but then it is kind of an old gadget at this point getting on in years. And of course, uh, me being me, I have cables all over the place, so it doesn't really matter what kind of cable it needs. On the front, we've got a selfie camera up top here. And you know, that's not great or anything, but it functions well enough. On the left-hand side, we've got the two separate trays. This one is for the SIM card, and this one is for the micro SD card. So you can load it up with storage too, so that's kind of fun. And really, I don't know, I mean, I like this phone because you've got BlackBerry OS, uh, BlackBerry 10, I think they call it, and it really, it works, you know, it feels fun to sort of mess around with it. 
kind of the same way like I have Windows Phone because I like to kind of play around with the Windows software. So that's pretty fun. As far as like the heft of this guy, it's not light exactly. It's sort, I would say it's sort of a medium weight phone, um, which is not bad at all. I mean, it's pretty compact. Like you take out uh, the Pixel 6, this behemoth over here, right? You can kind of get a feel for how tiny the Blackberry really is, you know, just comparing them like that. So really, I kind of like that one-handed use case. I mean, I'm just, I use it for reading in bed, you know? I'm, on, I'm just reading through my, my favorite fan fictions, the ones I haven't read on the channel because they're actually good, so I don't have a reason to like make fun of them. Um, and yeah, I just love the, love the experience, you know, if I'm, if I want to, I can scroll just using a little optical pad, like I don't even need to touch the screen, it interrupts my reading experience. And, you know, browsing the web is kind of fun, typing out the URLs is neat with this neat little keyboard, and I have even, I, <laughs> you know, I'm a writer, so I even wrote like a little poem on here, so that was fun. But, yeah, just a cute little phone. It is kind of sealed up. You can't really get at the battery, as far as I can tell, without kind of prying the whole thing open. But, eh, you know, whatever. Um, I've kind of changed my policy a little bit on the phone home videos. I've kind of stopped getting rid of phones at this point. And I've also tried to stop getting any new ones as well. So I'm basically down to the last couple of them that I have stashed away and then I'm kind of out of video material, but I think that's fine. I don't really mind too much. I'll just make each video last and I'll make them as long as I can. 